All right, in this video, we're going to go over the student paper writing style guide as well as how to use the Turabian template. So first, uh, you'll find these located on the school's website in the library writing helps portion. So you come here to the library and then you'll see writing helps on the left hand side. The writing guide is located right at the top and then the template is just below it. And the template is already uh, a DOTX file. So when you open it, the first thing you'll need to do, as outlined in the uh, instructions, we're using this template. The first thing you'll need to do is save this as a new file. So we'll go to Save As under the File tab. And I'm going to find a new location. I put my junk files. And the best way to do this is to go ahead and save as a DOTX file. That is a Word template. So you will not modify the template unless you open it in a particular way. If you were to save it as a DOCX file, that's going to be what you normally save uh, Word documents as then you would uh, have to worry about, you know, potentially changing your template. But if you save it as a DOTX file, you will not need to worry about saving it uh, and changing your template. I already have a version saved on my desktop, so it's going to give me a dialog to over save and we're good to go. Next, you want to go uh, turn on the paragraph marks. So you'll click on your home tab it should already be there. And you should see this symbol right here. That is show paragraph marks. I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice what happens is I begin to see all the different symbols where something is going on in my paper. If you come down to the bottom of the page, you'll even see where I've entered a, a special page break. This is a section break between the title page and the first page. That allows us to have a number one up in the top right. And then down here, you'll also note there's a page break, which is different than a section break, between the body of the paper, which is this portion up here, and the bibliography, which is this portion down here. Next, I want to talk about styles in Microsoft Word. So under the Home tab, you should see if you have a, a Microsoft Word version that's 2007 and later, you should see uh, a ribbon up at the top that has different styles listed here. The normal style by default is 11 Calibri, and that's just what Microsoft Word comes with. This has been modified to the Turabian normal style. So if I click on this paragraph, you'll notice that it already is selected as normal and the default is 12 point font times New Roman double space. There are no spacings before or after paragraphs. You can see all of these adjustments. I'm just hang hovering over these. It's making adjustments already, but if I don't, if I want it to just stay normal, let's imagine I change this to single space with something after it. Well, now if I just select the whole paragraph and click on normal again, it reverts back to that normal style. That's a setting, and that'll be very important as we move through the paper. The first thing I want to do is update my first level heading. And I'm going to name this my introduction. Well, let's imagine that here after my first paragraph, I want my second level heading. And I want that to be not spelled correctly, but I want that to be background. Oftentimes when you're uh, working on a, a biblical text, you want to provide some background. Well, I want this to be second level heading, but you'll notice that it's indented half an inch. 
these headings are already preset uh, to the Teradian ninth edition. So when I click on heading level two, it you notice that not modifies what I had here for background. Let's say uh, Mesopotamia. I picked the hardest word in the Bible to try and spell. Um, let's imagine this is the, the first or the third level heading under background that I want in my paper. Now it automatically adjusts. So my headings are already breaking down into the proper level. And all I had to do was select uh, the heading level that I want. Now in the style guide, it goes up to level five. Uh, you'll have to read through there, but uh, level five is even with your paragraph and it, the first words are bold. So assuming you only go to level four, this will work, but you uh, can do the rest of the formatting on your own. Now, let's imagine that I have a long section of the Bible that I'm trying to quote. I need to use block quotes to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and carriage return twice to give myself space here. And now I want to go to my Bible section. I already had pre-selected. And now I'm going to merge formatting. It's very important that I don't uh, just uh, keep all source formatting because it's going to change the font type and it's going to probably add additional paragraph marks that I don't want in there. So if I merge formatting, then you can see I will have to come in and clean up some numbers. I'm not going to take a lot of time doing that in this example. And then I want to be sure I clean up any hangovers, but I will save myself a lot of time because I'm not having to retype this entire paragraph. Now, in block quotes, I require special formatting. In the Thrabian Manual, 9th edition, this is single spaced, and there's a line after the block quote, and the entire quote is indented half an inch. Well, if you look up in the styles, I have block quote as an option right here. Everything's automatically adjusted, and it modified, it inserted a space after my paragraph because that was a preset setting for that style. So now I've copied and pasted, and I want to give attribution to this quote. So I need to do that by inserting a footnote. Now I want to go to references in order to do that. I already have my cursor where I want it at the end of the quote. I'm going to go insert footnote right here. And you can see it put a number one right there. And now I will come in and begin attributing this citation. And I don't have the full citation on me right now. But I know that I'm going to need at least this information. Now, you will notice that this footnote uh, is already established as in a particular style, but the default style for Microsoft Word is not exactly what we need. It's not going to bring the footnote over here and it's not going to do everything we need it to do. So again, in the styles, we have a footnote option. So I want to select that footnote and click on footnote option. What that did was put the additional space after. And you'll see here why that's important. This one, I have two footnotes. Let me take my paragraph marks off so you can see it more clearly. I have two paragraph, or I'm sorry, I have two footnotes, footnote two and three. And notice how it's already provided a line in between each footnote. 
their 10 point font and single spaced as required by the Turabian manual. But notice there's no additional paragraph mark here. So everything in the template is set up as it needs to be if I just use the tools that are preset in the template. Let's talk about your bibliography for just a minute. At the end of your body, there is a page break because you want to start the bibliography on a new page. You do not want it to fall in this space at the end of your paper. So the heading for the bibliography uh, can be the title, and which is also uh, which is also the same as the first level heading. That's just fine. However, let's put this in normal style. In normal, I have an indent of the first line right here, half an inch, and then everything else is flush to the left. In my uh, footnotes, or I'm sorry, in my bibliography, however, it needs to be exactly the opposite of that. So I don't necessarily need to worry with all the formatting right now, but I can come down, highlight everything, and then click on bibliography. And you'll notice it cleans everything up, makes them single spaced, puts a line, an extra space after each entry, and it's 12 point font times New Roman. The particulars of each citation we're not going to get into in this video, but you can see now everything is formatted according to how it needs to be formatted for using the template. I hope you found this helpful and we'll have more videos coming your way very soon.